Hey everybody, it's Maz and welcome to my kitchen. So tonight we're going to make a uh, eggnog. So tonight we're making a, a Pamper Chef eggnog with uh, probably one of the coolest things that I've gotten from Pamper Chef so far and that is the cooking blender. Uh, I've made queso once before, I don't know if you saw that video, that was pretty cool. I thought this uh, eggnog idea was uh, holiday appropriate I guess. So. Uh, pretty simple ingredients. What we have so far is some vanilla extract, uh, some sugar, a little bit of salt, some whole milk, and some uh, heavy cream. Um, and they call this holiday eggnog, and probably it's the holiday part because we're going to put a little bit of Bacardi in there too. So, All right, so our blender's ready to go. We're going to put all of the uh, ingredients in except for the six egg yolks. We're gonna put all the ingredients in except for the six egg yolks and those come once all this has been heated up. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start by putting in the milk. Right. We're put in our heavy, you know what, we'll put the cream in last, all right? Then we're gonna put in our sugar and the salt mixed up there. And um, I'm, using, I'm using vanilla extract um, because I did, thought I had, excuse me, I'm using imitation vanilla because I thought I had vanilla extract and I don't. So um, I did some Googling, turns out I could double up on imitation vanilla and it should give us the same flavor as having vanilla extract, but it smells like vanilla, that helps. I put that in there. Oh, can't forget our Bacardi, have a couple of Bacardi, at least for now. And then our heavy cream. So if you don't know what a cooking blender is, it is exactly what it says it is. Um, you can actually cook. It's got a heating element inside. Uh, it actually gets pretty hot. The thing we're going to make today is going to get up to about 176 degrees. Um, it's at the sauce mode, but you can make soups. You can make just about anything. Make queso before, um, and it doesn't just make hot things. It makes cold things as well. So you can make smoothies and all kinds of shit like that. There you go. And put our lid on. Locks in. We're going to move to the sauce mode. You can see all the stuff they can do. We can get up to 220 degrees, so yeah, and that's, that's pretty badass for a blender. Um, everything's set. I'm going to push our button. There we go. It's going to heat up. It's going to blend a little bit. Give us a while. It's going to blend the heat, blend the heat. Blend the heat. Just like that. So we're going to go ahead and let this run. It's probably going to run for about 10 minutes or so. Um, before it gets up to temperature and then once we're ready to put the eggs back in we'll come back or you'll just see it I guess through the magic of video editing. We'll come back we'll put the yolks in and then we'll do the final blend and we'll give it a taste test. So look we're up to uh, 176 on our eggnog 176 degrees and now we're gonna put in our egg yolks. Hey, come on and see this. Egg yolks. Mmm. All right. It's eggnog, by the way. So right, look at the steam coming out of there. Let's put those in. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's going to be something for somebody to clean up, huh? All right. Put our lid back on. And continue. There we go. That's it. Uh, pipe up. Oh. I don't know. I don't know about how long. I'll tell you one thing. This is not one of those things you're going to be able to prepare while guests are waiting. So if you're planning on making your own eggnog, um, you're going to have to do it quite a bit ahead of time, maybe an hour or so ahead of time. Plus, once it's done, you still have a lot of chill in the refrigerator. So um, I'm going to expect this to take probably about 10 more minutes. When it does, we'll come back, we'll pour it out, and we'll let's take a look at it. All right, so when I made the eggnog uh, in the last video, it was pretty late at night. Um, and it ultimately got up to 220 degrees, so we had to let it cool for a while. So I went ahead and let it sit in the blender overnight in the refrigerator. Um, I pulled out a few minutes ago. It's been kind of stirring up for about a minute. And now we're going to try it out. Yeah. A little frothy. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, 
That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's way good. So try it out. I'll have the uh, link to the recipe uh, somewhere in the video or wherever I post this thing. So anyway, this is the Pamper Chef uh, cooking blender. Uh, there'll be a link to that as well. And uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Enjoy it. Let's get out of 2020.